Hi everyone, thank you for joining me the last several weeks for a psalm of lament and prayer as our whole church has been journeying through a series called Weep With Me on the topic of biblical lament. Uh, today is our last Sunday and um, I wanted to end with Psalm 86. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am godly. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you, for you answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and you do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love toward me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O oh God, insolent men have risen up against me. A band of ruthless men seeks my life, and they do not set you before them. But you, O oh Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. Show me a sign of your favor that those who hate me may see and be put to shame because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Let's pray together. Lord, you are loving. You're so loving. Your love is steadfast. Your love is strong. Your love endures. Your love comforts. Your love protects your love heals. God, your love is amazing. And I'm just so thankful to know that love with my mind, to know that love in my heart. I pray, God, that you would help me and everyone else praying this prayer to live like we know that love in our heads and in our hearts. Help us to be Jesus to others. Father, I echo the prayer that was in Psalm 86, every word of it. I just ask, Lord, that you would make those requests true in my heart and true in my life. Father, I pray for our church as we move out of this series and into a series on unity. Would you help us to become more unified? I pray for oneness, not sameness, God, but oneness, that we would be whole that we will be unified by the Spirit of God, that we will be led by the Spirit of God, and that we would glorify the Spirit of God. Father, I pray for myself as we transition into a different series. God, help me to speak with boldness and clarity and grace and truth. Father, help me to see your word and delight in it and teach it the same way. Father, as our entire country and our whole world is just in great need and desperation, Father, I pray that your love would shine through your church. That, that we can be a powerful, powerful force of hope in the world that is hopeless. God, we need you and we depend on you and we praise and thank you. It's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me the last several weeks. I will see you next week for a new series.